FUBAR SNAFU MEDICATED. Hey everybody, it's Terry. Welcome back to the tool van. <laughs> Alright y'all, I figured today we're going to do a review on uh, FUBAR SNAFU MEDICATED. Now I've had some folks ask me um, what FUBAR means and what SNAFU means because as you can see on here, SNAFU is actually underlined. Yes, it is an acronym. Okay, FUBAR, because I'm not politically correct, I'm just going to come out and say it. Uh, FUBAR stands for fucked up beyond all recognition. Uh, SNAFU actually means situation normal, all fucked up. Uh, both of them came out of, I believe, the Vietnam War. Um, military jargon uh, that came out of the, the Vietnam era. Possibly World War II. I'm not 100% certain on that. But this is a extreme medicated snuff. Let me tell you. Alright, for color, what we have... Oops. Let me get my spoon out so I can show y'all. For color, we have a medium brown. And this is, I would put the grind at uh, medium fine. Okay? But the moisture content is medium high. It's, it's a fairly moist snuff, and it's very easy to take. Okay? Even though it is fairly fine, it's very easy to take and as you can see there's enough moisture in there where it actually clumps and uh, it's uh, I would say the fluffiness factor is about a three it's very nice stuff I mean look at this sideways spoon not coming off so you know there's a good goodly amount of moisture in there all right Now, I like medicated snuffs for uh, particular things. Uh, I don't take them continually. Um, I found, at least with me, that if I do take medicated snuffs continually, I will begin after a while to, to get a lot of congestion uh, up in my upper sinuses. Not so much down here, but my upper sinuses, I start to get congested. And uh, it makes... Uh, Basically, I have some sort of a weird reaction to it, but I have noticed that uh, this happens only when I'm taking it like on a regular basis. If I take it with me all day and only use my medicated snuff all day, then my sinuses begin to react to it. But every once in a while for like if your nose begins to get plugged up or maybe you have a cold, you can take this stuff and it'll help to clear your sinuses out, clear your, your nasal passages out. And it's got a very fresh, refreshing feel to it. Uh, most heavily medicated snuffs, like for instance, Hedges L260, is the same way, okay? But this has got a little bit different uh, makeup than Hedges L260. Okay, let's, let's go ahead and take a pinch. See what we think, huh? <coughs> it does tend to go to the back of your throat <clears throat> if you take too big of a hit like I just did but for the most uh, most part it, stay, it does stay in your nasal cavities now I did take this lid off beforehand because this is one of those compression lids and I hate taking these suckers off. Honestly, when uh, when I'm out and about, I got some of these uh, 14 gram uh, containers for Mr. Snuff, and this is what I use when I'm out and about because I hate these lids. But oh boy, that's a little bit like shoving ice cream up your nose. I mean, you, f you feel the cold from the, uh, you know, I just had that name of that stuff and I just, it eludes me now. Um, eucalyptus. There we go. Ha ha. I remembered. 
I, but you feel the cold. And I also detect some aniseed in there. Um, not nearly as much as with the Hedges L260. The Hedges L260, you do have eucalyptus in there and a fairly decent amount of it, but I think they, in uh, Hedges, they tend to use more of the aniseed um, for their medication rather than the eucalyptus. With Fubar uh, medicated, you get more of that eucalyptus smell. I mean, just woof, and it's really opening everything up. Uh, the nicotine level, I would put at a medium. No more than that, but a medium. It's, it's, it's decent, but not like punching you in the face type uh, nicotine like a lot of the others that I use. Uh, but it does have a nice scent to it. It's it's not totally overpowering. It is The eucalyptus is fairly overpowering right away, but after about five seconds, that dies down a little bit. You still feel the cold, but the whole scent just evens out right across the board. Oh, hey, look at that. I got dust all over my fingers. Well, it's not, but... <laughs> <coughs> But the scent evens out real nice. The nicotine hits fairly evenly. It's not wham, you're there. Um, the nicotine hit is fairly even. It does a good job of clearing your sinuses out. It's very pleasant. See, I, I, up until now, I've always used the Hedges L260 because I heard that that was the strongest medicated. It is strong, but I there's something about the aniseed smell in there that just is too overpowering for me, and it just stays there. This, I don't mind eucalyptus at all. Uh, I grew up with it. Uh, my mom used it on me a lot when I was, uh, whenever I was sick. So it it does kind of have you know, memories attached to the scent. And, uh, but yeah, it's, it's really nice, actually. Uh, to me, this is so far the nicest medicated I've come across that's strong. Uh, I've tried FUBAR regular medicated, um, and I like that stuff. That was the original medicated that I got. And I do like that, but this is like that times five. Uh, it's very powerful. Boom, you're there. But the scent just evens out, and you can still feel the chill even after the scent goes away. Like right now, the scent really doesn't last long. For instance, right now, I'm at the very, very tail end of the scent. So, you know, you can just, you can very barely smell it, but the cold sensation is still there, you know? And you can still, I can still feel it working on my sinuses. And quite frankly, I have a little bit of a, a stuffed up head today. That's why I decided to do a video on this. Um, but yeah, it's, it's really nice. I like it. Uh, and it's relatively easy to take. Uh, I mean, like, I started coughing because I took way too big of a pinch of it. And I knew it when I was taking it. Um, so I coughed, but you know, this stuff is actually relatively easy to take. It's not bad at all. And would I recommend it to a beginning snuffer? Yes, I would be, try to learn your pressure control, but I would definitely recommend it to a beginning snuffer as well. Uh, would I recommend it to everybody? Everyone who enjoys a medicated snuff is going to love this, okay? This stuff is fantastic for a medicated because there's not too much aniseed, but there's a lot of eucalyptus, which I enjoy personally. Some of you may not enjoy it at all. Uh, you may prefer to only get the aniseed snuffs rather than the straight medicated. I've, talk, I've spoken to people that, that do prefer that. fact is, one of my buddies here in town... Uh, is that way. He does not like eucalyptus at all. He despises it, but he loves the aniseed. 
and so he goes that direction instead. Um, but yeah, this this is a fantastic medicated snuff. I would definitely suggest it for everybody to give this a shot. It's really not all that expensive. Um, you can find it at Mr. Snuff. Uh, probably some of the others, but because I live in Alaska, some of the others won't ship to me. So I tend to do my shopping uh, at MrSnuff.com um, because they actually do <laughs> ship to me. Um, but yeah, they're, it's a fantastic snuff. I would definitely suggest it for everybody. All right, y'all. I hope you've enjoyed this video. Y'all have a good day. Stay safe.